Hello, Potato. Do you know what time it is? It's breakfast time. Yep, it's the most important meal of the day, and we're going to have one right now at probably about 3 in the afternoon, which is when I usually release these videos. And today we're going to try Lemon Edition Swiss Miss Cocoa Puffs Hot Cocoa Flavored. Now, now, wait, wait, don't, don't click away. This is not the video you saw before. Well, maybe it's the video you saw before. I mean, if you've actually seen this video before, if you've heard me say this before with this box in the picture, then it is a video you've seen before. But if you're seeing this when it first came out and you're thinking, wait, didn't you just do this video last week? Yes and no. Yes, I did take a look at the limited edition Swiss Miss Cocoa Puffs Hot Cocoa from General Mills, although I think I kept calling them Hot Cocoa Cocoa Puffs, because honestly, that sounds better to me, and determined that they're basically just normal Cocoa Puffs with those little cereal packing material marshmallows thrown in. However, on Facebook, I was asked by Ariok Morningstar, who has arguably one of the most epic names in, in existence, at least in the Western world. Did you try these with warm milk? My first reaction to that was, well, that doesn't sound very good. Warm cold cereal does not sound great. But then I thought, I mean, it's got hot cocoa in the name. I think I may have even mentioned the idea of having hot cocoa cold cereal. Uh, although to be fair, to be fair, the, uh, there's a movie theater around here that serves frozen hot chocolate. So, I mean, it's not like it's out of the question to have a cold thing with the word hot in the name and not refer to spicy. And then I thought, you know, I have two bags of this stuff. What's well, a fair question. It does say hot cocoa. It doesn't say anywhere on the box to try it hot. To fair, it doesn't say much of anything on the box at all, other than the fact that it's a limited edition Swiss Miss hot cocoa cocoa puffs. Uh, apparently, again, a Sam's Club exclusive. I don't know about that. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know anybody lie about it. I just, I haven't verified that for myself. So I thought, you know, we've got so much of it. Why not? Why not take a second look at it? I mean, it's not the first time I've taken a second look at things, right? Like with the, uh, the squid snacks last year, which again, were quite good when fried up. They were actually okay when they were cold too, but quite good fried up. But you know, I have so much of it. Let's have ourselves a second bowl. We got a better, better mix of marshmallows this time. We'll have ourselves a second bowl with some heated milk. Is there any steam? Eh, I don't think there's any steam, but trust me, it's warmed up milk. So yeah, let's put it on there and see if this is as good an idea as I don't think it is. I've never tried putting warm milk on cold cereal before. That's it, you know, I commented, I think, in the last time around that the uh, coloring seemed to come off of the Cocoa Puffs pretty badly, but that would probably result in good chocolate milk at the end. And I'll be honest, it did. The chocolate milk at the end was pretty chocolatey. All right. So, I mean, it just looks, it looks like a normal bowl of cereal. You wouldn't, if someone like put this down in front of you until you touched it at least, you wouldn't necessarily know that it's warm. Yeah, the bowl's warming up. It's, it's, you you would know if you touched it. But uh, it's, uh, be interesting to see if the marshmallows, what happens to these marshmallows in, in warm milk. I've never tried that either. Never put cereal packing material marshmallows into a warm beverage. Well, I think it's getting chocolatier faster. At the very end, I will be, you know, I will end up with a bowl of hot cocoa. So that's probably a plus. The question really is, you know, what's it going to do? I think I think it's going to probably make the cereal mushy faster. I think it's going to get get soggy faster. I think I think the marshmallows are kind of starting to dissolve. Just in the few seconds, well, few, like 30 seconds, they're definitely yeah, they're definitely getting smaller. I don't know if that's because they sh they're shrinking, like compacting in on themselves, or if they're actually dissolving. But check out that milk. That milk is already. So I'm going to drip over the place. Ah, we've got a Klingon. There we go. That milk is getting quite chocolatey quite fast, which is probably to the benefit. Let's try it. Mmm. Kind of tastes like hot cocoa. I mean, warm cocoa. Uh, it's pouring it in a cold bowl and cold cereal and just the time it took to get it back here and introduce this video. It's not hot, hot, like boiling hot or anything. 
But that's that's actually the the thing we used to make milk for hot cocoa in. So it's I think it's a fair comparison. Let's give it a try though. See how trying some actually some marshmallows haven't dissolved yet. Let's try it hot. I know showing it to you doesn't look any different, does it? It looks exactly the same as when it was cold. Ah, maybe a little mushier. Oh, let's try it. That is actually not bad. That is better than I thought it would be. I, I really genuinely thought this was not my best. I mean, too, it may not be my best idea. But it's certainly a better idea than when I tried to make cereal out of cotton candy balls. So, uh, of course, it wasn't, it wasn't my idea, was it? It was Ariac Morningstars. But yeah, this actually isn't bad. That kind of works. Um, it doesn't taste as corny, actually, as it did cold either. So that wasn't a bad idea. I would actually suggest trying that. If you've if you picked up some of these and you want to just give it a try, throw some, hot, throw some hot milk in there. That's actually not the worst idea in the world. Thank you to Ariok Morningstar for suggesting this. Um, that actually came out much better than I thought it would. He was right, and I was wrong to be apprehensive about it. And I thank you for watching. I hope you found it at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video, when I won't be trying warm cold cereal, but maybe if it's appropriate, we'll try that again sometime. We'll have to find something else, I guess, that's appropriately normally served warm. Thank you for watching.